What's up, guys? It's me, Spidey. <laughs> and Yama. With. I'm Keyshawn, man. And we're doing the top 10 most useless Yu Gi Oh! trap cards ever made. I'm sure you have a bunch on your list, so let's see if it's on here. That's talking a lot of shit. Yeah, it's basically me talking <laughs> Is a lot of shit. Is there on this list? Hey, fuck you, man. That's a good card. <laughs> 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 Um, but yeah, if you want to see the top 10 continue and all uh, my top 10 favorite trap cards, top 10 best trap cards, uh, top 10 segment to continue. Like do you video. want Spidey to do your, like his top 10 favorite trap cards? Comment below. Like the video right now. To, um, 750 likes, the segment will continue. Comment down below, you get a chance to win a free pack of the most recent set. And the winner from the last video will be announced at the end of this video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Destruction of Destiny. Uh -huh. That's my number 10. Oh, you're going to eat in the video like I eat in videos? Oh, yeah. You're going to yeah, be that guy? Yeah, I'm going to be that guy right there. You have to eat that loudly? <laughs> I never eat that loudly. Oh, I'm not being loud. <laughs> <laughs> Destiny of Destruction. I think this card is horrible. He thinks it's useful because of the fact that it helps mill the deck, but I think because you're losing life points, you're milling your deck for no fucking reason. The effect is basically you send three, your top three cards from your deck to the graveyard, and then you lose a thousand for every spell or trap card that you sent. Yeah. And didn't someone what use that fuck? card in yeah, GX? Yeah, I got it. So what the fuck is the point? Yeah, GX. How long ago was that? Yeah, GX. No, 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 GX. This is GX. What competitive gaming was going on in GX? Oh. No. <laughs> yeah, what, what? Mon what, what? Monarch? What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Aliens? What? Yeah, that's the most competitive thing. No, no, no. The guy who used Wing Dragon Raw. Yeah, oh, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> no, no. When he do Yugi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell what? Teledad came out. <laughs> Get out of my town. Teledad. Number nine, Arsenal Robber. You activate this trap card, and then your opponent has to take one equipped spell card out of their deck and send it to the graveyard. First of all, how do you know they have an equipped spell? Like, yeah. you're going to have this card in your deck. Yeah, it's like, just because I'm using this card, they're going to have an equipped spell. Yeah, like, I'm using this, you better have. Everybody's running equipped. Like, And it's not even a today-type format, because yeah. there are some meta decks out there in um, Noble Knights. What? This sacrifice, you know, there's equip cards out there that are used in metagame, Look, but at the same time... Hold well, on. When, when did Noble Knights come out? Before or after this card? After. This card is old as dirt. Yeah, so like... But my thing is, what happens back in the day, I used that card because I said to myself, my opponent, be it Evan, is going to use Premature Burial, but it's at one, and I don't want him to play it against me. So I activate you Arsenal can't Robber point, no, and put no, fuck that No, curtain. you can't point out one point in time when the card is useful and that's why it's a good card. N excuse me. No, <laughs> that's not how you're going to win arguments in this video. I, I'm talking about when the I card came... I just used it earlier with Snatch Deal when it came back. Snatch Deal has been gone for months. <laughs> when Snatch Deal came back, what? A year ago? <laughs> what are you talking about? So this card should be banned. Just no. because yeah, exactly. it could you, know, <laughs> you just don't see the potential. Shift. Shift is whenever your opponent targets one of your mar you one and only you one marker. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is exactly what he's what he was literally retarded. He never went to fucking school. He, he dropped retarded. out of school to play a children's trading card game with adults. Sounds hot. <laughs> <laughs> he was into pedophilia. <laughs> he was out here provoking pedophiles. But like shift is when whenever your monster is targeted for an attack or a spell or trap card effect that targets only one monster, you can pick one of your other monsters and switch it to that. I don't see the point in that when when there are better trap cards out when you can rather Oh yeah, instead I'm of right. saying like I activate this card and like I snatch still him. No, you don't. You snatch still this guy. Or no. Instead of creature swapping, you do it when there's a one fucking monster. Exactly. On the or why don't you just activate? Yeah, if you want to know a shitty card, you know what's a shitty trap card? Statue of the Wicked. Actually, that is a. That's, no, it's not because if you destroy it, you get another card, and then but you can't activate it while it's face down. But it's a shitty so. token though. Jesus. It's about a thousand points. You can attack with it. You know, you can make a hot pocket with it. You can be <laughs> I could save a lot with my shift. What could you save with shift? I'll just say I have a Celtic Guardian on the field and a Dark Magician. 
Maybe I want that Dark Magician to stay for an extra turn. Maybe I'll make that happen. What deck is those two in the same universe? Yubi's. <laughs> Maybe if I have... In today's game, where is that card going? That's the same Constell. Maybe I have Pollux and Cows on the field. No, you reason. don't. If I'm you do, you go. Yeah, if you do, you're going into plays. You're not saving them. Maybe my favorite thing that he said this for some or, reason. Or maybe I'm activating Trap Hole. But then it wouldn't fit maybe you next time. Maybe just hurt my feelings. Goblin out of the frying pan. Is my number seven, which is just a long drawn out name for no reason. I think this card's probably one of the most useless trap cards to ever be created. Let me you pay, pay no, 500 I'll... light points to negate the activation of a spell card and return it back to the owner's hand. So he's fucking amazing. Using it again. How is that amazing? You just lose it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just use it. You're like, I activate Rekeki. Oh, not so fast. Goblin out of a frying Man. pan. Send that shit back to your hand. Now what are you gonna do? Oh, I activate Rekeki. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't think of that. Yeah, but what would happen if you're facing like a ritual deck and then they activate and they have to discard all that stuff to play the ritual? Yeah, they get the ritual spell back, but but they have no. to pay. Doesn't you, it you know, you have a chance to, you know, that would stop it. Because that's not a, it's a cost. Okay. If you, you it's only something you pay life for. points. It's not a cost to activate the effect. It's that like you want to summon the monster, then you can do that. I'll just use Rageki. Exactly. <laughs> it's like one of those type of things. If it's something, let's say like, um, a hero lives, pay happy life points. Not so fast! Goblin out of a frying pan! And then it's like, a hero lives again! Now you have to pick another half of your life points. Yeah. So it's a bad card, because it's not stopping anything. Yeah. You just lost 500 life points for no fucking reason. <laughs> Number six is Heroic Gift. I think this is one of the most useless trap cards ever. He... He denies it because you get to draw two cards from it. If you don't know what the card does, if your opponent's life points are 2,000 or less, make their life points 800, and if you do, well, 8,000, and if you do draw two cards, you can only activate one hero's gift per turn. You know what? Well, I know. You give your opponent 6,000 life points just so you can fucking draw two cards. That sounds pretty good. How is that good? Well, you know, I need that draw power, bro. You, no! What? What? And what? What? If I play tunes, I can play anything. Well, if he gets the draw power, he might draw a goblin out of the frying pan. Yeah, so, yeah draw a goblin out of the fucking other cup. That's exactly what would work. It's one of the most useless trap cards ever because nothing is worth giving your opponent 6,000 life points. Well, we were just so you can draw two how cards. Much Cyberstein didn't matter. Yeah. That's life giving away like, no to, for drawing. For life points don't matter. Upstart goblin to Bro, draw one two card. Two cards for life points that don't matter. Jackpot is my number five. But with a name like that, how could it be bad? <laughs> Jackpot. <laughs> you declare a level between one and twelve. Each player tosses Seven. a coin. I choose two. You two. choose a level, and then you both. Flip a coin, and if it's both heads, all the monsters on your side of the field become the level that you declared. Well, that sounds pretty good. That sounds like something you'd use. And then, if not, you um, both both are tails. You lose life points equal to whatever that declared level was. Wait, it times five hundred. No, it's a, it's one time, one, time, one shot hard. only. A that's big hard. ass gamble. And then, if the worst thing about this card is that you can activate it, and let's say if it's mixed, then nothing happens. <laughs> it's like you just, fucking tail. Yeah, it's, it's fucking tail. Yeah, you just activate it like, I activate, I say heads, I say tails. And then like, you know. It's just like a bunch of suspension for you to just be like, fuck, yeah. didn't work. Like, exactly. <laughs> you, know, you do all of that for nothing. And then all that's like the most you can get out of it is like a XYZ summon. When there are better cards out there like Green's Galaxy Light that does the same all thing. Right, that's why better. I feel like you'd like it. <laughs> Risking life points for that when you can just simply do it instead of having all of this going through hoops and circles to do this shit. But if you don't gamble a little, how do you ever really enjoy the risk? What risk? What are you talking the, about? Well, there is the backlash. There's no backlash with her. Exactly. That's why this card is horrible. <laughs> don't be that guy. Fortunate report. That's my number four. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly gonna say I did not know what this card was until I read it. But I looked up every trap card in the game and I read this shit and I was like, "What the fuck is this? Is the most useless trap card? Why would anybody play this?" What is it? 
your opponent conducts their next their next battle phase twice. But what would happen if there's an archetype that comes out that forces battle phases against monsters that? What is out right now? But, what is out right now that does that? If? No, you know, no, no if. if. No, you can't I go to what if. You can't go to another point well, in time. Three years you were talking by, about right now. We're talking about stupid. ever. No, in so ever. How does this work? So do you get to click battle phase twice? They just yes. put you in there. The whole no, time. you go to your battle phase and do it twice. So let's say if you ran a, um, you use it against your, let's say somebody, um, you're playing Gladiator Beast and somebody activates this card on you. You do that and then at the end of the battle phase, they go back to the extra deck and you get to switch out. But then you get a whole new set of a battle phase with new monsters that you just tagged out for and then you can attack again and do that Terrible. shit again. Gladiator Beast. Hey. Yeah, you would have to give this card to your opponent. You would have to play this card and then play Exchange and then give it to your opponent, then play Bait Doll, force the activation of it, and then come after him. That's exactly how that card would work. Curse of the Circle is my number three. What is that? Another card it I never like heard. It circle. looks like Spellbinding Circle is one of the cards I have never heard of until looking up. <laughs> is it just as good? You target one monster your opponent controls. Ooh, that your, sounds good. Your opponent cannot tribute it or use it as a synchro material Whoa, monster. Whoa, what a lock. Yeah, I know. It's like, here's this thing that, like, I put this halo on you. So, what wait, is if it? you use that one card, that switch it card, you can yeah, stop it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that card is useless, not if I activate my shift! Evan, now. what could get worse than a card that does nothing to an opponent's monster? Well, I'm glad you said that, that's why I'm moving on to number two. <laughs> Solomon's Law Book. So is that like Solomon's Judgment, but Solomon's Law Book? Well, this isn't Solomon. This is Solomon. Solomon? So it's like Solomon's like so retard like cousin? Yeah! Re retard it's cousin like, book? No, it's his retard uncle. Solomon's Law Book. You skip your next standby phase. Why? For what? What are you Wait doing? A What's I going have, on? I have something to say to that. Wait, I have a question. What happens about all these cards that have so much like bad restrictions, like pay this during the draw phase or standby phase? All these things have bad repercop. Wait, re re what? Re what? Shut up! Wait, does Tree Blood Frog summon himself <laughs> in the standby phase? Yeah. So wait, if you skip it, you can't, right? Exactly. That's yeah, terrible. You skip your own. So why would you play that? Oh, if, if you drop lava golem on me and I want to pay that life. Points and I need my law book to make sure Lava Gold don't keep taking as its long as Lava Gold doesn't kill you in your 40 then, card deck. Then if you know what? If you want to do that, then you would have to have to use the next card. If you really want to get behind Lava Gold, the <laughs> best card to get rid of Lava Gold, my number one most useless trap card to ever be created in the game of Yu Gi Oh! It is! Power Clock of Destiny. <laughs> that card sounds cool, though. It does sound cool. I thought this card was like the the shit because I remember back back in the days when I back in the days I, back in the time. <laughs> but, um, I, the time. <laughs> I played this card with Final Countdown. Okay. I thought it did something. I thought it did something. I played this card with first sarcophagus. Move the turn it... count forward by one turn. The turn which is this card is activated is continued as a normal. What I'm confused. Mean? The fuck does that even I don't mean? understand. It's like. Hold on, wait, yeah, let me read it. Yeah, yeah, read it. Please read it. Please read it. It. Move the turn counter forward by one turn. The turn in which this card is activated continues as normal. Mm hmm. So you what? use it and nothing happens. Yep. That's fucking great. I'm nothing happens. Everyone just run three. Nothing fucking. <laughs> you know what I thought this card used to? I thought it used to just skip a turn. It's like back in the day, me and my friend, we used to do each other. So you cheat like, against it'd be, me. Yeah, it'd be like, what? So you were cheating. Against you. Against you. you know you cheated. Friend. Not against you. I did. Yeah, yeah. Level card. I would be like, I check Nubu Momonga, and he'd be like, all right, power card today. Skip it's my your bad. turn. It's my I bad. Like, I did your turn. <laughs> Now, but what's your problem? But it's you didn't terrible. give a fuck. You'd be like, I fuck used to, you, Yana Garasa, what's that? That's what I thought the card did. Like, sure. I used to end my turn. <laughs> yeah. And then my next point, my opponent's draw phase, <laughs> activate the shit, my draw phase. Fuck you. My. So you cheated. Damn well. We both it. thought it did the same thing. It's, what it's a... only cheating if the other person doesn't know about it. It's funny because it didn't do anything. It, it doesn't, doesn't do something. anything. I actually think that these are some of the best trap cards I've heard. <laughs> and, and I'm gonna do a long time. Best trap cards will feature most of these. I'm gonna really sit down, go home, and think to myself and say, 
Maybe I'm gonna give them a shot. And you know what? You'll all see. You'll all see. You'll all reap the cautions. Reap the cautions. Reap the cautions. <laughs> <Reap the cushions. laughs> <Reap the cushions. laughs> That'll be the new trap card. Reap the cautions. What happens is your monster just falls over. <laughs> you'll both be cut to ribbons. <laughs> cut to ribbons. And uh, you'll deal with my destruction of destiny because that's your fate. Now I'm out of here. Get out of my way. Yeah, I'm famous. <laughs> I'm going somewhere. Well, that's the video. Don't forget to like it. 750 likes, the, the segment will continue. Don't also yeah, forget right. to like. If you like it and comment down below, you get a chance to win a free pack of the most recent set. The winner from the last video will be shown right here. If you see nothing there, that means the last video did not get the likes, unfortunately. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Support us. Facebook link, individual channels are all in the links down below. Yamo, when do we upload videos? <laughs> we upload every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you didn't hear me, it was Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday if you're lucky. <laughs> so see you on the next one of those days. Uh, trap cards that are continuous and you have to deal with that a lot. So I didn't have a lot of protection. So I saw Quasar and I just accepted that I was going to lose. <laughs> oh, come here. Come on. And now I'll take over. He's so happy he got. He wanted this.